Sego Sewa Guego, Sarah Jungkit. So I'm a first year student at the Ungui Hawaii Midwives Collective Apprenticeship Program. And today I'm doing part two of my moccasin making. Here's where I come up with a design and start beading it or whatever I'm gonna do on the leather, I start that. So I always start with a drawing. So here I put it on graph paper, nice thin graph paper. And I outlined it in the green and then the fluorescent yellow is the part to remind myself that's where the stitching is. So not to put anything on the yellow or close to the yellow. And then I go to my pattern books and I look for something that I like and I trace it on there or I make it bigger or smaller depending. My husband wanted a simple design, so this is where I learned how to make my patterns, was from this thing, long time ago. Children's plain style. So this is where I learned how to uh, size my moccasins. It has all the instructions in there. It's really good instructions. I found they were small though. So if you use a pattern, um, like size seven toddlers, I don't think so. I know my kids all have fat feet, or wide feet, but I call them fat feet. So this is how I transfer my pattern because it's all straight lines I just need my points of where they meet so I'm just putting holes making sure I can see the holes and then I'll just draw the lines in with the wood burner So I, as you can see my pattern ends here and I'm hoping that's enough space to sew it together. And as soon as my wood burner's hot enough, I'll start wood burning. So usually when I do my beadwork patterns, I draw it out and I glue it on. And then I just bead through it that way. And then this one I uh, glue more fabric over it to cover over the threads. So you won't see it. This one's a real thin, thin leather. My design's mostly lines, so I'm just going to practice lines. All right, so I am doing the filling in the diamonds and it's smoking a lot. So make sure when you're doing this, you have windows open. So I have my door open and a window open in this room so that it keeps it fresh air because this stuff doesn't smell good. And 
and I'm just tilting it so that it looks this way. And then I'll do the same for the other side. Next week we'll be assembling these moccasins. Y'all for watching. Anna.